Hey Virgo, congratulations you guys. I don't know why I wanted to say that, but I felt like you needed to hear that, okay? I'm so proud of you guys, okay? Why? Because you are stepping out of your comfort zone. Okay, the garden and the gate card in reverse basically speaks of that. You're now realizing that there's so much more, okay? You don't have to play it safe anymore. You don't have to keep repeating the same patterns. You don't have to keep um, staying stuck in particular situations or in a mindset, all right? You're now stepping outside of that gate and you're going out there to explore the world, which is abundant, okay? It's so much out here for you is how I'm seeing it, Virgo. Let me read that here in the reverse position real quick, y'all. But don't forget, you know, to flip the roles. Take only what you need. Leave the rest and please use a spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video, okay? Um, don't force anything to fit, okay? Now, basically it says... If this card is reversed, it indicates the happy choice to open the door to a more spiritual pursuit. You may have been obsessed with worldly issues before, but your readiness to go deeper is now here. Many people believe that they cannot live in a material world, make lots of money, and engage in spiritual priorities at the same time. But you now realize that this isn't true. In fact, you can bring this wonderful spiritual focus to any endeavor. And when you do, you'll find that beyond your garden, the universe is willing to fill your life with beauty and joy. Expect the unexpected, for joyous synchronicities abound. You are blessed, Virgo, with an abundantly spiritual life, okay? Prosperity grows and grows. Wow, Virgo, I don't even feel like I want to pull any more cards. We're going to stick right there with that and I'll pull some um terrible on that right because we're gonna keep our vibes high we're gonna keep this energy going um into this new beginning that we got booze okay so let me set my intentions and then i'm ready for you guys thank you holy spirit thank you angelic guides for helping me with virgo's reading protect us as we go through the portals to commune with you close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will protect my energy my throat chakra also i ask that my true guides are here with me Woo. thank you spirit team tell me about the garden in the gate in the reverse position. All I hear is, let's get it started. I'm a little tired, y'all. It's been a good long day. Did a couple of personal readings. I will be finishing up readings tomorrow. So I definitely know that you have been experiencing a lot of conflict, right? Inner conflict here with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So basically, I do feel like you could have been blocked off from your intuition for a minute because, of course, your heart has been heavily involved here in your situation when it comes to your relationships, okay? When it comes to love for you is how I'm seeing it. And um, you had to deal with a codependency, but I feel like you have made a choice. So you're making a choice or you have made a choice, okay, based on your sincere feelings um, about you. It's like this feeling of you now de uh, deciding here, you know what, I got to be kind to myself. I am abandoning, abandoning myself. I need to heal myself. I need to work on myself. I need to end these patterns because I, I do really feel and understand um, Virgo and how I'm hearing it is that you understand that it's been you and because of that you can now celebrate all right three of cups you can now celebrate release your fear honey you don't even have to have the anxiety here. and as you can see again with that card the garden and the gate coming out in the reverse and I'm gonna pull it I gotta read it to y'all again all right the universe is willing to fill your life with beauty and joy. That's everything in here. That's friendships. That's love. That's celebration. That's party. That's socializing. Okay. That even can involve weddings, engagements, graduations, baby showers, happy times, whatever it is. Okay. Expect the unexpected. With the joyous synchronicities abound. You're going to get tons of synchronicities. There's no need to fear. If you are still holding on to fear-based energy, release that fear. Find that mental strength here to push through this. You're going through an, a spiritual awakening is how I'm hearing it. Show me what I need to see. Yeah, you already made the investment, honey. You planted the seeds. Your effort's about to pay off. You're getting ready to see the fruition of everything you have been putting your energy into, Virgo. 
This is your time to celebrate. This is your time to celebrate. Three of Swords. You've been working on your healing in the reverse position. You've been working on your healing. You've been releasing the pain, especially when it comes to a situation that you have. Okay? With that Ten of Cups in the reverse position, you definitely are experiencing an unhappy situation when it comes to your home life, your family life, or with a particular person. And in this area, this is where you feel the less... It's like you don't feel safe. Let's just put it that way. But I feel like you're definitely working and you have been overcoming these feelings here. Okay, tell me about this Three of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, you've been releasing the pain. You've been through some stuff. I definitely feel like, you know, you feel like you've been been literally stabbed. Stabbed in your heart. Is how I'm hearing it for someone. Yeah, three of wands in a higher font comes out. So this is the reverse position. This is the upright position. But I really feel like it's because you have been experiencing a lot of obstacles and delays. But the problem was, is like you had this lack of foresight. You didn't realize that all you had to do was open the gate and walk out and move forward. And again, remember, it's usually our mind, right? It's our ego that says, you know what? There's no other way, right? You're scared. I'm scared to go into this new beginning. What is it going to hold? Is it, if it's going to be anything like this, I, I don't want to go, right? But however, you did that damn thing. Congratulations, Virgo. I love y'all. Y'all just don't even, y'all, let me tell y'all. It's been a journey, y'all. It's been a journey. I'm a Virgo too. But we definitely have been embracing this journey. We've been embracing it. We've been creating our own traditions, okay? Following our own path helping other people in the process. I mean, seriously, out here, light working. There's a lot of changes. You're going through a transition. I got the distance on Horizon card that came out in the reverse, but there's a lot of changes here. There could have been a distance between you and someone. I'm going to pull on that, though. Let me pull Tara on that. I feel like this is more about you and being disconnected here from your actual journey in your path. You weren't anchored. But even if I flip this to the upright position, so I'm going to read it in an upright position because we want to speak these things as though they are happening, okay? This is the silver lining on the horizon. Your hopes will come to pass. I feel like there could have been, again, I'm still hearing a distance between you and someone during the summer months. I don't know who that's for, so take it how it resonates. Something unrealized. Something that takes more concrete effort to make real. Yeah, you've been kind of like really trying to actualize something here into fruition. But I feel like something is getting ready to become anchored. Look at that privileged lady. This is about your success, honey. Wow. And your journey. You're making these changes. You made a decision to move forward. I feel like you're taking only the love with you. You learned the lessons. And this is what's anchoring you. This is what's making you the privileged lady. Okay? Even if you're a man, okay, it's just energy. So flip your roles. But but this is what's making you this person who's self-sufficient, who's confident, who overcomes their challenge, challenges. Someone who can literally take care of themselves. This card represents prosperity, luxuries, creativity, and wellness. This is a lucky phase for you where you can be carefree and have no worries. 
Wow. This is a lucky phase for you where you can be carefree and have no worries. There's no need to worry. Don't even bring the fear and anxiety in this new cycle with you. You're going to get some unexpected income. Spirit is blessing you here with some with prosperity and bliss. This is what's been the decision has been made courthouse. Everything that you went through, especially with a particular lover, you're getting blessed is how I'm seeing it. And it's coming to you in abundance of finances is what I'm seeing. Yeah, you're going to be, God damn it, you're going to be freaking, oh my gosh. The courtship card came out. Why is this courtship card here? You planted the seeds like this abundance is going to be long term is how I'm hearing it. This is long money, honey. <laughs> this is the legacy here that you are building for yourself right now. Look at that. Three of Wands comes up upright. You got your freedom now. Uh, you got your foresight. You you understand that you look, you understand the assignment, Virgo. You're now moving forward. You can see. Whatever the situation here that you had had with this person or had with this person has taught you a lot. Some of you may travel. Some of you may even move abroad. Some of you may live in foreign lands already. But what I'm seeing here is that you're moving forward with self-confidence and self-belief. You're making a happy choice. And I feel like you're happy with the choice that you're making. And what I'm hearing, Divine saying, it's time for you to experience life. Yeah, the Hermit card comes out. You went within. You did a lot of soul searching. And you got the spiritual enlightenment that you need. You're honoring your spiritual self. And this is what the divine has been calling you to do, to honor your spiritual self. Okay, aside from whoever this person is that was in your life or is in your life. There's a cycle that's closing out here for you. Tell me about this course that was happening with that. Tell me about this person. Page of Wands comes up and the Seven of Wands. So what I see here is, again, like you got some good news coming towards you. A lot of good news is coming towards you. Some of you are definitely like in the in the, in the eye. Let's just say that I said in the eye, in public eye, right? In the limelight. Some of you could be salespersons that sells people that's standing out uh, to me. Actors, politicians, spiritual teachers. Inspirational speakers, athletes, performers, I'm hearing. But it's your faithfulness here and your optimism, optimism here is what's helping you with this new journey. You're grounding yourself. You're getting ready to be anchored here is what I'm seeing. You stood your ground. So whatever is happening here between you and this person that's in your life here, I do see it's been a lot of adversity here. A lot of adversity between you and this person. And, and whatever may have been going on, you decided here you was going to stand up for yourself and what you believe in. Did Virgo say something to this person that caused them to be triggered? Woo! That was your answer, y'all. You stood up for yourself. You said some stuff here. Let's see. This person may be concerned or how am I hearing it? Concerned, maybe in their head about some things, feeling disconnected. If I go say something to this person that may be having them triggered. They don't want to talk. Justice card came out in the reverse. You told them about their lack of accountability. And their avoidance. Some of you may have talked about their dishonesty. 
but whatever it is, whatever the injustice was, I feel like you talk, you talk, you spoke up about that injustice. How did it make this person feel? How did it make Virgo's person feel? So now they feel a little disconnected here with the four cups. Okay. They're in regret. Ace of Swords comes out in a reverse position. And they also are lacking the ideas at this point. So they're, they're blocked in their intuition, basically. They're not really thinking very clearly about this. It's like they're in regret. They may even feel like they're missing an opportunity here. And they're focusing here on some negative stuff here is what I'm seeing here. How do they feel about Virgo moving forward here? <laughs> See what the message may be. And what I hear is that you hit the goals. Okay. You had to man, you had to get to or you had to obtain or how can I put it? It's like you had three lessons that you had to learn and you achieved them. Is how I'm hearing it. Okay. Anything else? Make sure you practice mindfulness. I'm hearing pat yourself on your back. You did a good goddamn job. Okay. Why does why do Virgo's person feel like they missed the uh, opportunity here with Virgo? Nine of Pentacles reverse and the King of Cups upright. Because they feel like here, they still operate here in um, their codependency. It's like when you look at you, Virgo, you're here. Already is the Nine of Pentacles. They're coming out reverse energy. So that means that they feel like they aren't stable. They aren't secure enough. Okay. They feel like it's it's like they have a lack of independence. It's like the love is there. Okay. But they're not at this point where they feel successful. Where they feel like they are actually um, stable or secure in their life is what I'm seeing here. This is someone who really controls their emotions here. It may even get triggered. Tell me about the stuff card. It's like they're trying to find the inner strength here or the confidence here to do what? Stuff card came out so you guys can see it. To do what? Mm hmm. Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> Nine of Wands reversed. <clears throat> Let me get some water. It's like they're trying to find the strength here to um, have this new beginning. And even in their money. I feel like your person is trying to have this financial new beginning for themselves too. Like I said, it's like they're trying to match your energy here. But you're advancing so fast. You're advancing really quickly here. And your person here may be like very stubborn it's like they won't give in to your ways i guess that's how you would say it like you may have been trying to show them the way to manifest how to connect you know to that point to get this out to get the blessings from the universe but your person can be very stubborn and it's like they won't they won't give in or they refuse to compromise with the way that you have been showing or showing them or trying to guide them here Yeah, so they're toiling and laboring. They didn't do it the universe's way. Which the, which the way that they were supposed to do it is to connect with you. And they're still in conflict about that. They still have a lot of fears. So they're toiling and laboring. They're having to 
you know, what's going to be coming to you, yeah, is this. The universe is blessing you. You could be the main female or this other person could be flip your roles how you see it fit, but <clears throat> the bad health card is in the reverse. Yeah, everything that you were going through here, this is healing. You're recovering. The blessings are yours. So let me see something here and then I'll get ready to close out. Get ready for bed. I'm a little tired. I need to re recuperate. Just trust. It is safe for you to trust in this situation. So even if you, you know, still feel a little leery here because your person is kind of still struggling a little bit, you stay present. Because I definitely feel like everything that you're doing, it's like you're an example to this person. They see you. And this is why they're striving to get to where you are. Here and now. So make sure you stay present. Your true love is already a part of your life. This is a past life lover. This is a very intense connection. There will be a second chance. longing so someone is secretly yearning for you they're not telling you but they're longing for you you guys are on different pages at this time but they're longing for you so if they're longing for virgo then why aren't they coming in Ace of Pentacles in a reverse position. They're hesitant about that. Pentacles next to the six of wands. So what I'm seeing here is like they're still holding on to certain things, a lot of issues. They got a lot of deep-seated issues here. And it's like they're holding on. Um, they probably, again, it's like when it comes to their financial stability and security, I feel like that could be an issue here. Um, and again, they're still holding on to, to people, possessions. They're still just literally like not letting go. In order to be able to get to this part of their of their story where they they can recognize you in this connection, so I want to see something here real quick. So give me a second, y'all. I don't know. A second. I'm like sometimes I know how to work my laptop and sometimes I don't. <laughs> Yeah, it's like they just don't feel stable enough. I keep forgetting it's not the laptop that I can touch. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's what it is. I feel like it's a lot of money issues this person has. It's like... They have a loss of emotional stability or something here or something going on with their money. 
I can't really see that well because my vision has been really jacking up today. There's a lot of concerns about their finances. And that's what is really like interfering here with the connection itself. And then it's like you're over here being recognized and you're successful and you're winning. And that's where they want to get to that point in their life. So like this is I'm hearing is like this is why y'all are on different pages. What they're trying to do for themselves right now is to get successful. Yeah, temptation in the solar plexus comes out too. So um, they are dealing with certain addictions too as well. Ego. Let me see something with the solar plexus. I think that's around intimacy. So they could be, you know, doing some other things too as well. They have certain addictions. <clears throat> A lot of addictions is what I just heard. Yeah, it's emotional. It's a, they're blocked in their um, psychic reception area. Yep, when it comes to their vitality, their willpower, their confidence, their self-esteem, things like that here. It's like they're blocked there, their own inner feelings. It's like, this is the, this is what they need, but they operate in ego. And so what I'm seeing with the temptations. So it's their addictions and their self-limiting beliefs um, and their behaviors. That's what needs to be addressed. And I feel like your person may be placing a lot of emphasis on worldly or how can I say it, material things in its pleasures for real. Um, and this is what they're focused on. Again, it's like they're trying to, and it's in a way it's not a bad thing because of course you want to be able to have a, a stable foundation for yourself and you got dreams and you want to be able to obtain them but at the same time it's like that's what their focus is on but it's so weird right because they're longing for you but because they want to get this aspect of their life together it's like they're making the sacrifice and the sacrifice would be yeah it's a lot of anxiety they stay up at night they may be definitely anxious not getting much sleep. I just heard having dreams about you. It's like, yeah, it's like spirit is like putting you on their mind heavily because they're not investing into this connection. Here with the L seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups in the reverse position, and that's what they should be doing. It's like what they're not realizing here is that you hold. You hold the pinnacle. It's in a reverse. Like they're not going to be able to fully get to that point without you. Okay. It's like you're the key, basically. I, and I heard that that's for divine counterparts. I'm hearing that for twin flame. So if you're dealing with a twin flame. So. Anything else? Rejection. So someone has, um, oh, so it may feel like rejection to you, but this rejection is actually um, protecting you. This is divine protection right now. Okay. So you may feel like you're being rejected because this person is very distant or they may not be in communication at all. Tell me about the rejection card. Why is it divine protection? So the divine is protecting you from this person's discontentment, their stagnation, their negative patterns, okay, their detachments. So even though it may feel like this is what this person is doing to you, no. The divine is actually covering you, keeping you from their unhealthy patterns so that you won't be sitting up here all anxious and fearful so this is why they're asking you to release the fear try not to be overwhelmed by this situation because this is literally happening to protect you okay all right y'all so i'm gonna get ready to go i love you guys you enjoy your night or whatever time because it's about 11 31 here in baltimore okay but i will holla at y'all tomorrow thank you so much for y'all support and for showing up for me every single time okay i love you guys peace